Hello, my diamond derma dermatologists. Whatever. It's your boy Zionic Blader, and welcome to another unboxing and roll testing video. In this video, as you can see, we are unboxing the Diamond Gilatar Ultra Starter Set or Starter Pack. Sorry, the starter set is the one that comes with 40 cards. So, this starter pack is going to come with Diamond Gilatar Ultra. Uh, Diamond Auxilitar and Diamond Cycloid. We've already done a uh, Cycloid before, but I picked this up after I've got the uh, Cycloid, so now I have like a Diamond double of it. Now, take a look at these pictures. This is pretty much just like what? Super, super uh, edited pictures of the uh, Diamond Bachyon so that you can actually see them properly. All right. All right, let's get this thing open. Cover your eyes, uh, diamond sealed collectors. Ooh, there we go. Probably could do a better way of opening this thing. Oh wait, I, I went too uh, too much of ahead of myself. Oh no, oh yeah, I, I forgot to tell you that at uh, 3 p.m. I'm going to uh, uh, be doing a, com I'm releasing a competitive video of this Bakugan, and also stay tuned at the end because we're going to be do making an opening of uh, a Battle Brawlers pack. Uh oh. Okay, now we can continue with the uh, unboxing. Jeez, uh, there's probably a better way for me to do this. <laughs> well, now it's a big whole mess. But hey, let's take a look at the uh, cards that they give us. I'm hoping the Gate Trainer is going to be different, and it's not just the exact same uh, art of. Uh, Pyrus uh, of Pyrus Dragonoid and uh, Ventus Trox Ultra. Can we hope? Are you serious? This is literally the exact same one. What the heck? The exact. This is not even the same wave. This is a. Di this is wave two. Come on, guys. <laughs> you you're better than this. But hey, let's uh, take a look at the cards we got. Okay, I guess we're going with the uh, evolutions first. We got Diamond Cycloid, a six cost. My alarm. Diamond Cycloid Core, 6 cost, 1,013. Honestly, a, a bit too expensive for what you get, especially considering it's a vanilla. And then we get uh, Diamond Gilatar Ultra, 5 cost, 1,307. Better than Cycloid, that's for sure. But still, I mean, a vanilla, 13, a 5 cost vanilla at this point in the game, it's not really worth using. And then we got, uh, oh wait, we got our Auxilitar, Aurelis Auxilitar, 4 cost. 600 B power, 10 damage. Eh, I mean, it's a four cost, not really. And it, four cost for 10 damage? Are you are you kidding me? Like, come on, uh, what is it? Like, uh, Pyrus Trox Core has 10 damage, and that's not even like the best uh, damage boosting guy. And then we got uh, Pyrus Gilatar Ultra, Helix Core, and Shield. Six cost, 400 B power. This guy, you're gonna want to do a damage play because on the uh, on the plus uh, plus five damage helix core, you're going to be getting 11 damage, which is good. And then Cycloid, as we've seen before, it's a 307. It's a damage Bakugan with uh, cores that are for shields. And Auxilit, yeah. This is pretty much, like, literally... This is literally just a weaker version of Cycloid. Same B-Power, same core lineup, but Auxilitar has less damage. Like, what the heck, like... If I had to explain to you how bad Aurelis has gotten in uh, Season 2, I'll show you this picture. Where this is like the main character or one of the main guys of Bakugan too, right? So, and it sucks. Like, come on. It, it's worse than a generic uh, core Bakugan. Are you, are, you, are you... Man. Oh well. Enough ranting on about the cards. Because uh, I'm going to be doing a bit more about on that during the competitive review later today, which you should uh, stay tuned for. So let's see the kind of cores that we got. We have the plus 100 B power shield core, which isn't worth using. The uh, plus 200 B power shield core, which again isn't worth using. Plus 250, or not worth using. 150 plus one, not worth using. However, this is the uh, best damage boosting. Uh, Shield core, but at the same time, like one damage, like are you like it's not even worth it. Then we got the helix core. The helix core is minus two hundred plus five. This is actually 
uh, good for damage plays for this uh, for the helix course. And the last one is minus 200, which isn't worth using. And now let's take a look at the Bakugan that we were getting. Man, I have made such a mess here. I have a giant recycling bag that carries all the all the res the cardboard and plastic. There we go. It is Pyrus Cycloid. Well, first of all, it's in its ball form. And, I mean, pretty smooth. I, I really like how this looks in Diamond. Especially, especially with that, uh, where is it? The gold, even the gold arrow and the gold faction symbol. That's really cool. Now, let's see how it looks like when it's all opened up. Uh, if I can find it. There we go. There it is. That's the diamond version. Check that out. And I really, really let's look, take a look at the eye. Yeah. Is it? It's a bit glossy. It's not the like a an emerald kind of thing. I was hoping it was a bit more like an emerald like thing, like with the dragonoid. But wow, look at that gold printed B power. That's really nice. Really nice looking. Now let's take a look at uh, Diamond Auxilator. I think this is my first Diamond or else Bakugan. It might be. Have they ever done a Diamond or else Bakugan before in in Wave uh, in in Season One? I don't think so. Look at that. Nice black color, and then the gold. Wow. That really is amazing. Let's see, where's the faction symbol? There we go. Faction symbol is engraved where the gold is as well. That's really cool. Now, let's see. Hey, 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 there we go. Now, this is a magnificent looking, magnificent looking guy. Does this, wow. Look at that. It's, it's really cool. I wish there was at least one of them that was, that, that, that is good. Like none of these auxilitars are any good. Which is annoying. I mean, like, look how cool this design is. Like, wow, it's amazing. And and then they then then they pull a uh, a gosh darn uh, Cindius, and all of them suck. Like, what's up with that? Why why do you have, why do you make all these magnificent uh, different uh, pieces of work, and then you uh, don't even you don't even like uh, make them any good, man. And then, oh, well, we have at least the last guy. There we go. Pyrus Auxilitar Ultra. Now, uh, unfortunately, it, it looks cool. Don't get me wrong. But I, I don't like how this part over here is uh, just all, you know, opaque. Last I, I would have preferred that if this was also clear as well. But yeah, check that out. I think this moves. Yeah, these uh, the feet over here move. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so pretty much the feet are the stuff that moves. Cool. Very nice. Very nice. Does, does the red at least have uh, sparkles on it? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like the red has sparkles on it, but it is. It is at least uh, a nice, uh, shiny kind of looking paint. But hey, let's see how easy it is to close. Now, let's see. Okay, it's one of these back when you put a head back. There we go. That was uh, pretty easy. Ball form looks nice. And yeah, the, I like. I really like that uh, gold emblem next to the blue. Red, I mean red, sorry. Gold and red always makes a nice uh, combination. And now there is a bit of bumpiness over here. Whoops. Yeah, and that even opened the uh, Bakion too. There is a bit of uh, bumpiness over here. See, like very small. I wonder how much it's going to affect the rolling. Speaking of rolling, let's actually get on to this to the rolling and see how these uh, Bakion fare. Alright, so now on to the roll testing. So for the core Bakugan, we're just going to give them a couple rolls. Like, uh, I've already rolled Pyrocycloid. It's pretty simple because, I mean, it is a core Bakugan. But, you know, just for the nice uh, people out there who haven't watched it, let's uh, 
First, we place the Bakugan magnet side down next to the core that we want. Roll it backwards, two core cards a length. And then we get the Bakugan that we want. Now, there we go. We'll do it a couple more times. Or we'll do one more at least, because I've already done rolling for this guy. There we go, that was backwards, and oh, maybe we got a double core? Ah, uh, the magnet's not strong enough to do a double core, but hey, could be possible. But yeah, pretty nice uh, rolling this guy up. Let's roll our Auxilitar. Roll backwards. There we go, and nope, no double core, but we did... Uh, Get a nice roll in there. Let's do one more for the core. Right, let's do one more for this core back gun. There we go. And ah, we didn't double core. Not not strong enough. But hey, yeah. I mean, rolling core back gun. It's just a little bit of practice, but you should be able to roll pretty much any of them. But what we want to know is how good is the ultra back gun? Ultra back gun are these are fancy when it comes to rolling. Now it does have a little couple bumps here, so we can really only roll it forwards and backwards. So uh, let's let's see uh, how well that does. There's also a bit of a, a dent where the uh, head is uh, uh, turned back, where the head is folded. So when it came with uh, Ventus Trox Ultra, it kind of messed my rolling with that. But this dent isn't as bad as Ventus Trox Ultra, so hopefully. Uh, we don't have much of an issue with that. Right, we're gonna do a couple rolls. We're gonna do a few rolls forward. There we go. Oh, this might be a. Uh... Hey, it is a double core on the first try. That's pretty good. All right, let's do another one. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, it, it, at least we got the core that we wanted. <laughs> All right, let's uh, roll again. Oh, yeah, it seems like not super consistent to get the uh, core. Now let's try it backwards at least. Maybe that will do better. All right. Oh, did we get it? There we go. We got a double core. Nice. All right. So this is the second time we've gotten a double core uh, for this Bakion. One time was rolling forward. Second time was rolling backwards. So at the very least, we know that it's possible to get uh, this Bakion to core, uh, to double core. Not super consistently, but uh, enough where it's like, hey, you know, this is an extra bonus. So if like, uh, if there is ever a, uh, I don't know if there's any good auxil, uh, uh, if there's any good of these, uh, any good versions of this Bakion. Ooh, ooh. Nice! Two for two, guys. That's amazing. It's amazing. Holy cow. Alright. Now we gotta actually take this guy seriously. Can we get a three? Can we get another one? Oh, that was not good. That was a bit too late. Measuring our rolls. Oh, could this be a double core? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I hope that counts. I got too excited and I shaked it too much. I wonder if that counts. If you lift up the core, but then it falls down when you're bringing it over to yourself. 
Like, it's not like I lifted, lifted it up and it immediately fell down. It was stuck there for a bit. I don't know. Maybe uh, one of you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm going to count it, at least for the test, because uh, I was too excited. And I'm going to count it as a fourth double core, which is really good. Like... If I haven't lost count, I would have, uh... If I haven't lost count, I would have... Shoot. Right. Oh, could this be another one? Nah. It wasn't. Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. And we'll call it a day, because I've been rolling this guy for a long time. All right, is this a double core? Hey, it is a double core, nice. So I think that's five double cores. Really, 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 really nice. All right, so for out of all of the Bakugan that I have unboxed and roll tested, I mean, it's only been a few, but uh, Pyrus, uh, the, the uh, what is it, Auxilita? No, what is his name? Uh, what is his name? What is the Bakugan's name? I forgot. Uh, Gilatar, yeah. Gilatar Ultra has actually been uh, the most consistent. Now, I mean, it's not consistent enough to bank on it, but I mean, we've had like five, uh, five like double cores. So, I mean, it's got to be at least like half, like 50% or maybe even more if I uh, practice better. But uh, yeah, you can probably count on in a, in a battle getting a double core at least once with this guy. At the very least, you know, I know there's some people who are much more proficient at rolling than me. They may actually be able to uh, get this guy to roll even double core even more consistently. But the fact that someone like me, someone who barely even practices how to roll, is able to get uh, like five double cores with my testing, that's amazing. Like, I, I wasn't able to do that with any other backing that we've opened so far. You know, I have heard good things about Ramparian Ultra and... Uh, and how not how core ultra but Nilius ultra but i haven't uh, done a roll test for that one but uh we'll see we'll see how those ones are in the future videos but before we end it off today let's open up a pack of bakugan battle brawlers all right always nice to oh, whoops they cared that too long but uh let's see hopefully we get something good Uh, okay, there we go. Exhilarate, it's a flip card. Nope. Sifting Ashes, I remember I used to play this a lot uh, in my uh, Pyre Stark to Sorellus deck back in like Wave wave 1. Talon Slash, we have the Seas Outsiders. Now the funny thing about this card is that I got my playset of Pact of Darkness before I ever got uh, any single copy of Seas Outsiders, which is funny. Because I've only pulled packs. I've rarely ever gotten any singles. We got another flip. Another flip. We have Masato Kazami. If you had played two or more cards this turn, your next attack is two damage. Eh. Trox is Moxie. And then we have a uh, Aquas, Aquas Slam. Draw three cards. And five damage. But for five costs, I don't know. And then, hey, we nice. We got a... Uh, a foil consort. That's always nice to have. This is a great uh, core pickup card. Nice. And it's very shiny too. Very shiny. So we got a nice... Uh, I really like the consort pull. I mean, I don't think it's very... I don't think it's worth anything. But uh, still, it's pretty cool. But anyways, this has been Zionk Blader. And remember, at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the day this video goes up, we will be also be doing a competitive review. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you like the video, hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.